What's up guys, how's it going? Today, I've decided I was gonna run you through my setup because it's gonna change pretty soon. All this that you see here is uh, not gonna be like this for too much longer because I'm actually gonna be moving the drums out of here uh, for now. My plan is to put the desk where the drums are right now. It's gonna be a 47 inch desk, so it's gonna, it's probably gonna go from like right here to roughly somewhere in here. So it, I want it to be a decently wide desk to where I can really fit everything on it. I'm gonna put everything that's over here on it and then some. It's going to be very, very sick. For right now, I wanted to run you guys through my setup. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the PC because, uh, okay, let's see. My buddy Josh built this computer for me because I had a bunch of friends telling me, you know what, the best thing for you to do is if you wanna do gaming and you wanna do music and you wanna do all these things, the best thing for you to do is to build yourself a good gaming PC, something that's gonna last you a good five, 10 years. And I was like, all right, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. And my good buddy Josh knows all about doing this, which he's actually been teaching me a good bit about it. So I'm not going to lie. I could probably build one of these with a good couple of, uh, with a good little bit of practice. That's all I need is some practice under my belt and I could definitely build one of these suckers. I will be putting all of the specs of this computer in the description below because right off the hand right off hand I'm not gonna lie I cannot remember everything that's in here as for the monitor this is a Sansui it's literally just an off-brand monitor that I that my dad gave to me that I found that he no excuse me that he found but uh it's been serving me pretty good it's only 1080p uh, shit refresh rate but when I get the new desk set up over here, that is when I'm gonna upgrade monitors. For my studio monitors, I have the PreSonus Aris 3.5s. I absolutely love these things. They have a great, great balance to the sound. Very, very, just, per it's just perfectly flat. <laughs> the keyboard that I have is just a generic Logitech that you can pick up at any Walmart. Uh, not much to say about that, honestly. I trade. I had a really good mechanical keyboard before, but I ended up trading it for this guy down here, which we will talk about here in just a few minutes. For my mouse, I've got the Model D from Glorious. I absolutely love this mouse. Uh, there's obviously no space whatsoever for playing first-person shooters or anything like that. This is in the way. This is in the way. This is not nothing for space, for mouse space. So, And there's obviously not a mouse pad here. So there is no gaming being done on this computer right now. It's just being used for music production and video editing. That is it. Right here, I've got the Novation Launch Key uh, 40... Let me see, uh, 37 key, the 37 keys. I love this thing, I'm not gonna lie. It was a absolute bitch to set up. Uh, it, I just, dude, it, it took me, it took me about a week to set this thing up, which which says a lot, but oh my goodness. It, once you get this thing working with Ableton, it's, uh, it's very, very, very nice, the sounds you can get to come out of this thing. This bad boy is the, if I can remember correctly, this is the Fafine uh, T699, I think it is. And it comes with, comes with the pop filter, comes with this boom arm, the clamps. Very sweet. It also, actually, it also comes with, it also comes with this tripod right here that you can use to sit on a desk if you prefer to, uh, you know, mount it up that way. Bam, you could just be like, boom, right there. Sit it right there in front of you, which obviously I don't have enough space for anything. <laughs> but besides that, this is an amazing setup. I'm not gonna lie. I like to buy things that are budget friendly and everything here is pretty much budget friendly besides the PC. Um, and like honestly like ah 
all, everything you see here besides the PC is about around $100 to $200 brand new. Like this right here, around $200. That thing right there, about $150. Uh, these drums right here, about $200 or so. Um, I think maybe around $300. Uh, that monitor was free. These studio monitors for both of them are like 120 or 110 or something like that on Amazon. Seriously, almost every bit of this you can buy on Amazon. It's amazing. Up here, I've got a little uh, like Talenti uh, lid, you know, ice cream thing. And it's just got a bunch of random picks in there. I've got way, way more picks than this, but uh, that's just the ones that I've found sitting around the house that I've just sat in random spots picked them up and sat them in there another thing i like to do to get this thing out of the way is just freaking bam completely out of the way like i even play drums with this sitting here i never hit it i never ever hit this thing it's just always sitting right there um over here got a little calendar which is uh <laughs> not on the right month i haven't touched this thing in forever we have the the book of enoch an amazing amazing book because as you know if you know anything about me I am a truth seeker a, a seeker of knowledge if you will and this book right here explains a lot about our world that we don't understand well I understand it but it's because I've studied it for like five years getting down to the nitty-gritty of this guy this is my uh, Pod HD 500X. It is, it's, just, it's an amp simulator. I, it's what I use as an interface to record everything. I record my drums, vocals, guitar, bass, everything through this guy right here. This is where I get my guitar tones, uh, everything, for real. I just go on to the, uh, the Line 6 website and go to the custom tone spot on their website and you can download just type in what you want and you can find any kind of tones you want and I'm not gonna lie this guy right here is like a newer ish model and this guy sounds so much better than some of the older models I'm not kidding like it's insane how good this thing is all right now we're on to the drums uh, this is the Alesis Nitro Mesh kit you can buy it on Amazon. That's where I've got it. And uh, I absolutely love this thing. I've made some, I've made uh, four or five custom drum kits on here that sound way better than any of the stock kits that come on here. You could always uh, upgrade your module to have better sounds, or you can plug into your computer via MIDI and use some kind of VST or plug-in to make your drums sound more lifelike and real. But that's my intention was to buy this budget drum kit, sit down and really, really go ham on the uh, module and try to figure out what could sound good. And the best thing that I could say to do, if I could give anybody advice on this drum kit, turn the hi-hats down a little bit when you first get them, uh, turn the reverb up on everything honestly specifically the toms and the snare if you turn the reverb crank the reverb up all the way on the snares i mean the snare and the toms and you'll be good which uh most of my kits are set up to where that's a ride symbol because i'm a i'm a four piece kit kind of guy i don't like the five five piece as much there is one thing that i've noticed about uh the kick pad for the Elise's Nitro Mesh. It is not the best kick pad at all. So I went and I upgraded kick pads and I got the Yamaha KP65. And this guy right here is a rock. It is rock solid. It's not like too hard to where it feels awkward to play, but it's it is solid. It barely moves. The the pad it's it's just it's it's the whole front is a pad is the pad there is no rim anywhere you hit is gonna register pretty much it's amazing um, I got the the Pearl Demon drives I think or Pearl Eliminators I'm not sure what these guys are my buddy Chris uh, traded pedals with me these guys have been doing me 
so well. They, I've honestly grown to like them a lot more than the Iron Cobra Juniors that I had before. Those guys were falling apart. And, uh, yeah, but my buddy Chris thinks he can fix them. And, uh, yeah, I have full faith in you, Chris. If you can fix them, go right ahead, dude. Oh, yeah, one other thing is uh, the, the Alesis Nitro Mesh only comes with three symbols. I added this one right here. This was from an old electronic kit that I had when I was a kid. Uh, added it on, bought an extra cord and ran it across and plugged it in and set it to be a china. And that's what I've been rocking it as ever since. It's always a china. If you're wondering where I got these lights from, by the way, these are the the all famous govi govi rgbic dream color strip lights these guys are amazing i think it's set to about uh 80 percent brightness right now and it's during the day so it's very 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 it's still bright it's still bright as can be and if it's nighttime and you turn these guys on 100 percent, that is not the best thing to do you are gonna be blind all right guys this is gonna be the ending of the video i hope you enjoyed and uh i'm gonna post some pictures of the desk that i'm gonna be putting right here where the drums are supposed to be besides that i think i'm gonna go schmack a bear see ya peace